We got the fire warm and the stars are out tonight All I need is you and I You're the one I adore and with you by my side We are free in paradise When you kiss me, I feel like paradise It may be the coldest outside, but When you touch me, it's like a summer night It may be the coldest outside, but Hello Gemini, this is Inspire 2016 with your weekly tarot reading for the week commencing the 7th of November until the 13th of November 2016. The first card for you is representing, how do you feel about yourself? Your card is, the Three of Swords. You might be feeling lonely, heartbreak, betrayal, separation and grief. By preparing for this difficult event, the emotional blow can be minimized or even prevented entirely. This is all about release. When you have suffered a major setback, or loss, it is a good time to have a good cry, which is all part of the cleansing process. Expressing your sadness and letting it all out will then help you to move on to better times. However, it is also important that you continue to focus on the future path ahead. There can be a risk that you may become overly absorbed in the loss and the surrounding emotions that you lose sight of the need to just let go and move on. The loss becomes your focus rather than the recovery. It is time to accept the loss and then move forward with your life. That said, pain, sorrow and grief are often a necessity in the journey of life. Without pain, there would be no challenge and no lessons learned. Pain can be a great motivator because it encourages you to surmount obstacles and ultimately learn from your mistakes. Each challenge you encounter creates that initial pain, which is inevitably turned into an opportunity to grow stronger and to change the direction of your life as a result of the lessons learned. While the pain may cloud your vision for a certain period, it will eventually allow you to see clearly and to put the past behind you. Though life seems meaningless at the time, recovery can and will occur. It takes faith, self-love, forgiveness and time. Count your blessings. The Three of Swords therefore serves as a reminder that if you can start to see pain as a learning opportunity, life will suddenly become less painful. You need to really get in touch with pain and sorrow. Challenges remain but once they are no longer perceived as negative or bad, they lose a lot of their impact. This card is therefore encouraging you that you have the ability to conquer any pain that comes your way. Understand how the pain can help you grow. If someone has betrayed you and you do not think you can never love again, challenge that belief. Do not be surprised when your heart emerges from darkness, capable of loving even more than before. The second card for you is representing, what do you want most right now? Your card is, the seven of pentacles. What do you want most right now is investing your time and energy for the maximum output. You do not want to keep putting your heart and soul into something if you are not getting the rewards for it, and no doubt, you have started to see that there are some areas in your life that are just become energy sappers but without the reward. If you have been working extra hard or putting in extra effort into something, it will finally pay off. Your effort will definitely be worth it and you will see the results and rewards for your labor. You may have been working on something quite challenging and important for the last few months, and this is likely to come to a culmination. You are likely to see financial or other tangible rewards for all of your hard work. You might have been laboring away at something important and you may be starting to feel concerned that you will never be rewarded for your efforts. 
be patient and appreciate the progress you have made so far. If your hard work has not yet paid off as planned, remember that your expectations may be unreasonable. There are no guarantees. Be grateful, focus on the present and do what you can with what you have. This card follows the Six of Pentacles which indicated the ending of a difficult period of financial or material difficulty. In the Seven of Pentacles, you are now experiencing the rewards of hard work and effort. However, the question at hand is whether the rewards of hard work are in fact worth the effort to acquire them. It is often at the time of greatest success that you realize what you desired so much is in fact somewhat disappointing and perhaps not worth all of the effort. The Seven of Pentacles may therefore represent fear of failure, delays and frustration. However, the positive side to it is that you are more likely to be learning from these setbacks and evaluating how you can better invest your time to create the most value. In order to avoid feelings of frustration, ensure that you review your progress to date at regular intervals, particularly when engaged in long-term or enduring work, so that you can review what is working well and what is not and where you can make adjustments. Make sure that you are on course and that you are on track to achieve your goals. The third card for you is representing, your fears. Your card is, the Six of Cups. You are afraid that the issues from your past came out to the open. It is important to explore the memories of your past but do not get stuck there. Your ideas and beliefs that were established in the past may be prohibiting your progress. Use your past as a guide for your future, and focus on living in the present. You may have had unrealistically rosy ideas about a particular stage of life based on your dreams and ideals from when you were younger. For example, you may have always pictured yourself as married with children by 25, only to realize that once you hit 25, you had other goals in mind. Or you may be disappointed that you have reached a particular age but have not fulfilled your childhood dreams just yet. Sometimes, the Six of Cups can indicate child abuse or sexual abuse sustained as a young person. You may still be working through these issues and trying to release yourself from the harmful memories. Alternatively, you may be working with others who have repressed memories from their childhood and who need your support. The fourth card for you is representing, what is going for you. Your card is, the Queen of Swords. You will meet a female significant figure who is most likely from the air sign who is stern and composed, and without much feeling. If you are single, she might be someone that you're looking forward to be your partner. On the other hand, this card also represents the intellect's ability to judge and discern impartially, without the influence of emotion or sentimentality. She likes to know the how, what, why, where, when and who of everything to help her make sense of her environment and to better understand others. It is not that she does not care about others but she connects to other people through an intellectual understanding rather than an emotional understanding. The Queen of Swords is a sign that you need to be independent in thought and in judgment. You must use your unbiased intelligence in order to make a judgment of a particular situation, drawing upon every piece of information and fact that you have gathered along the way. Empathy or compassion towards others may distract you from the task at hand, so it is important that you think with your head and not with your heart at this particular time. Do not let emotion get in the way. Rather, use fact and logic to make your decisions. The Queen of Swords also has an innate ability to tell it like it is. She is a quick thinker and highly perceptive, and as such, she can cut through the noise and confusion to get straight to the point. There is certainly no beating about the bush, or softening of her comments, opinions and thoughts. She is upfront and honest about her opinions, and expects the same from others. The best way to interact with the Queen of Swords, 
therefore, is to remain as impartial as possible, and to present your thoughts and opinions concisely and honestly. The fifth card for you is representing, what is going against you. Your card is, the three of cups. You are afraid of betrayal of trust and possible cheating from someone close to you. On a broader scale, your creativity may be being stifled and instead you are being forced to conform to the group in which you are operating. You may be part of a very tight-knit group that does things a certain way and is not open to innovation or alternative approaches. You need to consider whether you are willing to sacrifice your creative abilities in favor of the group's desires. The Three of Cups may also reflect isolation from others. If this is the case, it is time to take charge of the situation and to reconnect with your community. Consider joining a group or organization, and if the need for support is present, seek out the necessary resources. Similarly, you have lost touch with your close friends, perhaps due to a falling out or other, more demanding priorities such as work or family commitments. See this card as a reminder to reconnect with your friends, let your hair down and have a good time, without worrying too much about the consequences. On the other hand, the Three of Cups may indicate overindulgence in the party scene. You may be spending most nights out at bars and nightclubs, indulging in drugs and alcohol and throwing caution to the wind. You may also be in the work hard, play hard mindset, when what you need is greater balance in your life. Be mindful about the longer term consequences of your actions and ask yourself whether this is indeed a sustainable lifestyle. Take a break from the social scene to regroup and get some much needed sleep. The last card for you is representing, the likely outcome that you may have. Your card is, the Seven of Wands. You have to maintain your position at the top while others compete and fight to achieve the same success and status that you have already achieved. Thus, competition is rife and you must continually prove yourself with the Seven of Wands. If your vision and creative effort is fulfilled to the point where there is public acclaim or acceptance of your success then you must expect competition and challenge, as other people will no doubt also desire the same things as you. There is a challenge to the continued success of a venture or creative project from an external source. While it appears to block your path forward, you can overcome this challenge or obstacle by drawing upon your strong self-confidence, self-belief and continual self-improvement. It can also be overcome with effort and clarity of purpose. The Seven of Wands is about holding your ground, despite ongoing challenges to your position and authority. You need to take a stand and defend your position at all costs. This will take courage and persistence but you have the strength and determination to do it. You see yourself as a battler and no matter what the challenge, you still have it in you to stand up for yourself and fight to the end. So, although you are experiencing a number of setbacks at the moment, you need to continue fighting for what you believe in and confronting others who may oppose or threaten you. There needs to be acceptance with this card that you are not always going to be able to win everyone over. There will always be challenges and opposition to your point of view and you cannot keep everyone happy all of the time. Thus, now is the time to draw your line in the sand, and say, this is who I am and this is what I need right now. There cannot be any compromise or negotiation at this time, just hold your ground with determination and courage. From quite a literal perspective, this card can indicate that you will be required to give a speech or write a paper on a contentious or highly debated issue. You will need to be ready to defend your argument and present hard facts that support your point of view. Expect to be challenged but enjoy this challenge as it will help you to create an even more robust argument. Last but not least, the guidance card for you is. Time to create. 
This card calls for you to get in touch with your creativity and express yourself through art, inventing, or performing. As an indigo, you have a lot of pent-up energy that needs an outlet. It's time to create something from nothing, knowing that you're a divine channel of inspiration. The angels ask you to bring something unique to this planet that can only come from you. Ask them to work through you, and together you will make a masterpiece that will bring blessings to the world. Embracing your creativity helps you realize that your ability to manifest in this lifetime is only limited by your imagination. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks. Thank you.